and welcome to WP Theme Tutorial, episode 31. Today we are going to look at print styles. We've talked a few times before about setting up JavaScript in WordPress, but there's also a way to set up style sheets properly. Uh, unless you're the main style sheet called style.css in a theme, then you should be enqueuing your styles just like you enqueue your scripts. And it takes a few parameters, handle, source, dependencies, version, and media. And media is the parameter we're really going to look at today in depth. So media you can see here from the codex is a string specifying the media for which the style sheet has been defined. We have the options of all, screen, handheld, and print. And this is just the full range of CSS valid media queries. By default you're going to hit all. So today we're going to worry about print. You can see here I'm just running my local screencast environment with 2012 setup. And what I'm going to bring up here is the functions file out of that. It's just 2012 functions. And what I want is, you know, so see I already have my print style set up. So let's actually look at our print first. You can see it's already a pretty clean print. We have our title, our slug, and the content of the page. And so let's set up our print style. And what we're doing here is we're adding an action or on the action of WP in queue scripts right there. We're adding our function and I've called it WP TT print styles. Now remember you need to change that beginning the WP TT part to prefix to whatever your theme or plugin is or you need to be prefixing with a class. So from inside that plugin we're enqueuing our style. I'm giving it a handle so WP TT print I am calling get template part to find the proper theme directory. I'm going to CSS and print.css. There's no dependencies. It's version one and my media query is print. So I'll hit save. And you can see my print. What I've done is targeted site title just for so that we have something to look at. You can see I'm targeting my class of site title. So I'm going to refresh this and then hit print. You can see that my site title is gone. Now that's probably not what we're going to want to do in a site, but say if you're running an e-commerce site and you want people to be able to print off a nice neat receipt or a nice neat product page, that's what you do. You would add a print sheet and then you would cut out the things you don't want and style it as, as best you can. You certainly can't get into a complex CSS in there, so it's typically just hiding the things you don't want to see. Thanks for watching. 